Antelope Valley. I have. It's where the, the poppies are, right? The orange poppies. Why don't we take a drive there? And it's you, not far, right? I don't really know. It's probably like 45 minutes to an hour okay. away. Um, so Terry Mugler and his advertisements always had this like small figure on this big landscape. And it was always so beautiful because you have like the beautiful landscape, which is what we'd be working with. And then we'll have you small, like running through or standing there. And I'm thinking of creating a dress for you out of trash bags. <laughs> so, Gorgeous. Right? Rich. It, will, it could actually look really beautiful if we take like white trash bags, because white would look really cool against the orange, right? Sure. Cut the trash bag and then open them up and then tape them together, creating a gigantic piece of white plastic that on location, I will <clears throat> kind of form around your body, tape it with white tape and just create like a form fitting top. And then it would go like this. And then hopefully there'll be some wind and the wind will catch it and just creating this beautiful, impossibly long dress. Yeah, so that's one idea. Okay. And then <clears throat> I was thinking I could make you a set of fairy wings where I take wire and I'll shape them like dragonfly wings and, and I wrap them in saran wrap and then iron it so they kind of look real and we'll find I'll find a way to hook it to your body or tape it to your body okay, and then you'll, sure. you'll wear something diaphanous and, and small like a little like a fairy would actually wear and um you know that um close cropped pink wig that you have the pixie cut the pixie cut yeah. perfect pixie fairy right yeah, got it. right and you'll wear that and what about hair for the other one with the trash bags. Orange, because orange and orange. You know what I mean? Like orange, no, orange poppies, like poppies, orange wig. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll pick some maybe some orange jewelry. So I'm thinking for the fairy look to have it be a take on Maxfield Parish painting. So they're very fantasy and they're very, um, very that, very fairy. I'll be sitting there shooting from a little bit below. Here's the landscape horizon. And you could like jump and jump and I'll catch you in midair. And it so will it look like, like yes, it will look like you're gotcha. like levitating above the ground is the idea. And then I was thinking when you showed me that big purple coat like thing that you have. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just thought that in the desert amongst like a desert landscape with like sagebrush will have you laying in the, sh in, in like, sage or something so that like green color. sounds comfortable probably not <laughs> <laughs> but i think we can get just some beautiful images of the desert with you oh, i love multiple looks yeah one location three looks i think it should be cool naturally right tomorrow is a good day yeah 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 let's do it, let's do it tomorrow you have to me the box of trash sacks only cost $10. I really love how Robert is always able to use items that you can find around the house and turn them into magical creations. It's true, you don't need a lot of money to create beautiful things. In fact, I think having a big budget sometimes stalls creativity. Here we've collected a myriad of orange and pink and purple things. We're very fortunate because Jay's Drag Room is a virtual style house. So here I'm dipping into the James Charles and Morphe's Unleash Your Inner Artist palette. I wanted the makeup to work with all three looks. I wanted it to be very simple, so heavy orange on the eyelid and underneath the eye, which I then blend out into a very smoky wing. Notice that underneath the eye, I have put a generous amount of kimchi's Puff Puff Pass baking powder to catch all the eyeshadow that falls. And here you see the classic eyebrow in Jay's natural hair color. And then I apply a very light pink blush to accent his cheekbones. If you've been following me during quarantine on YouTube, you know I'm absolutely obsessed with Lashify. But the reason why I really wanted to use this product for this shoot is because of the high winds we would encounter in Antelope Valley. What's unique about this lash company is that they are applied to the underneath side of your eyelash. This unique application process allows the lashes to last for up to 10 days, which is why these are really more lash extensions as opposed to false eyelashes. I'm still looking good Rolling down in there Acting all Hollywood Like why you all up in my face Asking me what I'm on Who do you think that you are I'm gonna 
do what I want. Just let me chill. For today's shoot, my car acted as my dressing room. Shout out to Nissan for keeping me air conditioned. And so here you see me creating the dress. Wrapping the trash bags around her top and then securing with the white tape. Creating a form-fitting bodice with a long flowing train. Being the eco-friendly artist that we are, I was able to use the actual ties of the trash bag, which coincidentally were orange and went with our theme. Tying them around her wrists, I created beautiful streamers which would blow in the wind. While the wind was incredible for the skirt, it made it very difficult to hear Robert and take his direction. Luckily, because we have shot together so many times, we have developed a language that needs no words, just eye contact and hand gestures. like this is so exciting for me. As you can imagine, I envision this idea of this big long white trash bag dress and you hope it's as beautiful as you have in your mind. So there we are in Antelope Valley and Jay is standing in the orange poppies and that dress was blowing and it was truly beautiful. I really didn't think Robert was going to be able to pull off the trash bag dress, but I must admit, as the wind was blowing through my coochie, I felt gorgeous. I truly forgot I was wearing a $10 garment. I just knew I was in couture, and you could not take me, Mama. I used an ungodly amount of tape to get Jay into that dress, as I knew the wind would be at high speeds and very powerful. Luckily, to get him out, all I had to do was cut the dress off of him. After another change in the car, I was finally ready for my second look as a fairy. Now what you're not seeing here is that I was jumping in the brush earlier to create lifelike flight. Unfortunately, due to the sand spurs in the ground, my feet were quite injured, and I was happy when we were done with that look. So for this third look, we are going for a glam rock vibration. So I wanted Jay to have masculine hair. Today we live in a world of gender bending androgynous fluidity. I find the proposition of a half man, half woman extremely interesting, provocative, and very beautiful. With Jay, I'm able to fully realize photographic images that capture that. I haven't always been comfortable in my androgyny. In fact, many times when I shoot with Robert, I'm nervous about a certain position he's putting me in or a way he wants to portray me. But I have learned that this is who I am. I embrace my non-binary truth, and I love exactly what I am becoming. One of 
of the reasons I choose as a photographer to create images like these is because I feel that we need to push the envelope. We need to push against this conservative society that is squelching the expression of so many people. The nails I'm wearing are by Evie Nails. I've held on to these for over a year as they are some of my favorites. The garment I'm wearing is originally designed by Alex Navarro, but has been redesigned by Howie B. I did a lot of unintentional hitchhiking this day. Unfortunately, no one picked this hooker up. If you're coming with me, better keep up when I run you. This shoot yielded many great images. In the end, it was very difficult to decide which images to save and work on and which images to kill. I'm always hoping that my work has a distinctive style. And I think that if it does, it's because I'm self-taught in Photoshop and I do it in my own specific way that I taught myself. I generally don't share this sort of process with anybody as it's my own and I like to keep it that way. But here is an example of the different things that I do. This, this image in particular I worked on for about an hour and a half. Monday at 420 for a brand new episode of Muse Me. Me.